Hello YouTube. All right, so today we have a nice little gem I picked up. It's the uh, Sony A7S Mark II. I'll get that in focus there. Uh, so we are going to uh, be using this uh, this summer to take some uh, pictures of the Milky Way. Um, as if anybody has researched this camera, they know that the Sony A7S uh, and the A7S Mark II have light gathering uh, capabilities with a high ISO up over 400,000 uh, in the ISO range. Let me see if I can turn this thing around a little bit for you, a little better look. I've got a 14 uh, millimeter uh, F, uh, what is that? It's an F2, uh, I believe. Uh, let's see what we got here F2.8. Uh, on this uh, right now, which is a super wide angle, but uh, this really has uh, some some great uh, light gathering power. So hopefully this uh, um, summer I'll be able to get some uh, Milky Way shots. Uh, so I'll append. I've already done a few night sky shots, which I've uh, already posted uh, on our Facebook page and. Uh, I just wanted to go go through that just a little bit. We've actually got a Facebook page now. Uh, I was Event Horizon Observatory, but uh, I've now changed the name not only the YouTube channel, if you've not noticed, but also a Facebook page, Backyard Astronomy, which I think kind of better fits uh, kind of what we're all doing here. And uh, here's my YouTube channel uh, as well. We're up to 451 members, so I really appreciate everybody that's following my channel. Uh, I've been out for a while doing some posts, uh, only because of, uh, well, I've been uh, a little ill, and uh, we've had such a, here in the St. Louis, Missouri area, we've had such a, a winter of dark, uh, gloomy skies, uh, very cold, and just have not been out doing um, my uh, hobby like I, I used to be. Uh, so I picked this up actually around Christmas time, but now that it's getting into the spring, and there's so many different settings that are on this uh, this um, A7S that it's just uh, a lot to go through. Um, as you can see, there's just uh, uh, you know you got different uh, settings just for about anything you want to go through on this. This is a uh, quite uh, intuitive uh, menu of all kinds of different settings. So and it takes 4K uh, video as well. So uh, I'm going to be uh, using this camera. Uh, I was a Canon user, um, but I moved up to the A7S. So we will see how this does. Again, I'm at the end of this video, I'm going to append some photos I've already taken of the sky. I need to get a clip-in filter for the front uh, so that I can get rid of some of the uh, light pollution that's in my area. And uh, I bought a small tripod. This does extend out and the legs extend out. But it's an, it folds up very compact so that I can take it on trips, things like that. So, again, more to come on the Sony A7S Mark II, which does do the 4K video as well. And uh, all kinds of neat things with your cell phone. You can uh, automatically hook through Wi-Fi and, and control it um, and uh, do some time lapse or uh, star trails. All kinds of great apps available on the Sony Play Store uh, or the Sony... Uh, play, I think it's, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the app, but um, Play Memories, I believe it's called. But uh, anyway, so more to come on this uh, little gem, and we will uh, keep you posted. Again, appreciate everybody that joins my channel, uh, Backyard Astronomy. Uh, you'll see the little picture of uh, some of the gear that I have set up. And then we do have a Facebook page now, which is Backyard Astronomy. Appreciate anybody who wants to join that. Uh, please feel free to do so, and we'll get you approved and uh, and thrown on there. And feel free to share any of your uh, videos, posts, uh, thoughts, uh, pictures, whatever you want to do. It's all for you, and I really appreciate it. So please join my channel or Facebook, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so here is a shot in the backyard, practice shot, showing uh, the constellations looking to the east of uh Corona Borealis, uh, Virgo, Libra, and Buddhist. Uh, so this was taken with the 14 millimeter f.2, super wide angle with a ISO 2500 three second exposure with an auto 
white balance. Uh, so I do need to get a, a light pollution filter for that light dome in the east. Okay, so here is another practice shot. This one was taken with an ISO of uh, 7800 with a two second exposure. Uh, that fence there looks like it's eliminated by a st spotlight, but that's actually just a 60 watt uh, bulb on my neighbor's back porch. Uh, the lights in the distance on top of the hill throw light into the air, but it's still able to capture some of the uh, faint stars up in the uh, sky. So anyway, thank you so much. Uh, this is incredible camera. More to come.